Hey y'all, let's check out Dog Harvest. Hey y'all, so I talked all that smack last video. I'm talking about how I couldn't find any type of like Halloween places. Then I found a bunch. If you're new here, welcome. I am Shy in Second Life, and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So, y'all, um, this is like the first official, like, spooky um, place that I have found and it seems cool so i am in the shared environment i am going to try my best to um actually record these videos in their shared environment because during the holiday um well during the halloween season a lot of the lands are fairly um dark themed and so i really want you guys to be able to get the feel of everything and just to add that little bit of like extra spooky flair to it you know what i'm saying so yeah it's so funny because i literally when i found this place i was like okay i don't know how much there is to it but then when i panned out i was like okay it seems like it's quite a bit so during um this vlogtober i am very much so wanting to really take the time that cake is so pretty i'm really like wanting to take the time to is this like a brain cupcake that's what it look like but i don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like to really view these spaces a lot of times when i most of the times when i am recording videos and things like that i will dummy down the video per se so that it fits into a specific time slot i don't like to do on um, videos where they have a lot of different like parts to it like a part one part two because i in my mind i'm like you guys probably really don't want to see that once you see the land one time i kind of feel like you're kind of over it even if i'm not over it so i try to keep the videos um pretty like short and sweet to the best of my ability um however during this vlogtober i want to really be able to experience these spaces with y'all a lot of times i will do the video and then after the video I'll continue um, looking around the land because of course, like we talked about before, this is something that I really, really enjoy doing in Second Life. And so I be wanting to see the rest of the land. Keep it, keep it a trillion. I be wanting to see the rest of the land. So I always find myself um, coming back. This is like a really creepy, it's given like, just like a voodoo type space. Um, this is like how they decorated it. So I'm like, you know what? I am going to experience these lands fully the way that I would um, when I get, when I'm normally like done recording, just so that we can get like the full experience, if you will. So be prepared for some videos to have like multiple parts to them. Definitely not doing that on purpose, but a lot of times a lot a lot all the time we're gonna we're gonna keep it a trillion all the times um i get caught up in just viewing everything just being completely transparent so a lot of times i will get done recording and the footage will be like an hour it'll be like an hour long footage and then by the time i get clipping away at some parts that i might have done over and things like that the video be about be about 50 minutes so it's like if it's an hour if i record for like an hour i may be able to like click a uh, click off not click off but clip out maybe about 10 minutes of footage but the rest is like very relevant to the video and definitely can be used so those are the times where things kind of some will get put into like multiple parts but i don't want to do that i am going to still try to kind of not go to, to I'm, i ain't making no promises i ain't making no promises but i will try to not get too caught up in the moment just so that the footage is not super long because then i go through like the task of me 
deciding what to clip out and i really don't want to clip any of it out but i don't want it to be three parts so if we get if we get something that's three parts then we, we just gonna get something that's three parts um for this vlogtober because i really i just i really want to be able to experience these spaces with you guys fully um because i stay on these lands when i get done with these videos and when i get done uh, recording i stay on the lands and i continue venturing around and looking at everything there's nothing that i look at when i'm with you guys that i would not look at without you guys so when i'm zooming in on things these are things that i would normally zoom in these are things that i normally would like to see and stuff like that so um yeah be prepared for that you know and it's okay because i just i the way that i made um like rationalized it was basically like it's not like we're going to be seeing the same things this art is wicked um it's not like we're going to be seeing the same things it'll just be like a continuation of viewing the land and i'll be like that's all right that is all right so mind you i have not even begun to edit the evergarden equestrian community footage but what i do know is that that footage is an hour and 20 minutes long an hour and 10 minutes long is is something like that so that might end up being like a three-parter which really would be like my first time actually having like a three-part video but it was surprisingly a lot of stuff on that land i just i was not expecting that so yeah that's why I told myself, I said, you know, okay, why, why are we in the sky? Why, why are we in the air right now? Is this part of the thing or am I standing on something? Is that a, oh, my bad. It's a little walking down, baby. Okay. I might have told myself, I said, just let them know. Oh, wow. What is this doing? It's super creepy. Is it going to, not it's coming to life. What was that movie where the dog came to life? I forgot the name of that movie. Megan, was it? That movie was crazy. Look at that. Oh, they, they doing too much right now. I told myself, I said, make sure you remind them or make remind yourself to let them know that y'all gonna be getting a couple, some, some multiple parters because yeah, that's what we doing. I, am, am I being a, a bit extra? Yeah. But you know what? I feel like if there was any time to do it, this would be the time. So, so far on this land, I really like that although it is dark, they have a lot of light aspects to it. So, you don't really miss out on any of the items that they have. A lot of times when I come to lands, when they're dark like this, I will make the light a little bit brighter just so that we can see things a little bit better. But they have things pretty well lit in my opinion. So I really do like that. I like that they made sure that they knew they were going to set the land to dark. So they made sure that the items that they had here had a, night, a nice a lit aspect to it. I was gonna say light aspect, a nice lit aspect to it, just so that you didn't need to make things brighter. I did play around with the shared environments a little bit um, before I even started recording because I was like, you know, maybe there's a light that's a little bit better. And although I did find a light that I felt was um, a little bit better, the sky was bright. It was like everything else was dark on the ground, but the sky was bright. And I didn't like that because the sky here is really, really pretty. I'm about to show you guys in a minute. So yeah, I like that they have a lot of like spiritual things here. It's giving very witchy vibes um, as well. Definitely giving Halloween, definitely giving creepy. I won't even say so much Halloween, but just like, you know, creepy, creepy type vibes. But look at this sky. So the sky is so pretty and when I changed the shared environment, things on the ground did get lighter, um, just like a smidget, but the sky was bright. And I'm like, I, I don't like that bright sky. I didn't, I didn't like the sky bright, so I was just like, yeah, nah, we, we not doing it. So this is like another very witchy aspect that they have going on and I do like that. I'm super excited for what they're going to have. I did um, go around and visit like a couple lands and I did find um, a couple more 
like um, Halloween inspired land. So we definitely those they're definitely going to get checked out during this October experience. So I'm really happy about that because I was a little bit like, why have I not seen any kind of Halloween things? Because normally they are on it. When I say on it, normally they are very much so on it and they start posting stuff about Halloween. It'd be like early September, they'd be prepping stuff up. But this year they took their time a little bit and I ain't mad at that. So as I'm walking, I keep trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything that I actually want to see. And once again, they really did well with this lighting. They really did well with the lighting because even though it's dark, I can tell the colors of the leaves. And that says a lot because what we do know about Second Life is that it can get pretty dark where you really can't see anything at all. But I can see um, all of the things here. So I really do like that. It's almost like it's like a light in the back of me that you can see. Oops, so we're not gonna, we ain't gonna show the bodies. We ain't gonna show the bodies. So this is like a little barn. And as you can see, we have some casualties going on. Is this like a pumpkin doggy? And this is a pumpkin doggy. How cute to have a little pumpkin doggy around, roaming around. Uh, the bodies, you know, or oh, was that like a little um from like the Adams family the little hand? Yeah, it was I Love this so they have lots of like spooky houses and different barns and stuff like that I love the signage and like the smoky grounds and stuff like that Super pretty. This is another or super spooky. This is another like little sitting space that they have now. I haven't seen many sitting spaces. Well, I'm talking about this is another. This is like the first sitting space that I've actually come across. And it is very spooky as expected. So I'm like, okay, we're we're getting somewhere. I'm looking forward to finding like some nice guided tours. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of guided tours, this is not like a spooky thing, but um, what is the name of that land? Wandering New York. They have like a train ride and I, it seems like every time I come on, they do the train ride and I always miss the um the messages i really got to get on top of that because i do want to check out their train ride um i believe somebody was talking about it on the second life facebook and i think that's the train ride that they were talking about they said it was super nice so i definitely uh, want to check it out but i've just been missing it and i'm like dang shy yeah yeah gotta get it together girl gotta get it together so this is looking very um Voodoo voodoo right here, you know, working up some little some little mojo goings on. This is nice, very, very on brand for the space. We love a good cohesive land. Yes, we do. Cohesiveness is very, very important. It's very pertinent to keeping the the feel of the the whole land it really helps you stay in the space and stay in the mood that they want you to be in when everything just kind of flows very naturally very nicely and this land is it's, it's doing it for me I, and I, I shall appreciate them for that I love this little potion table i love the brightness of it so you see how it's like a light behind me and there is like no actual light behind me but i love how they have things lit up and so everything on that table even though it's not one lamp it is still um very lit up where you can see things very clearly although it is quite dark here and i do like that that was one of the main reasons why i was like yeah you know what nope i can stay in the shared environment this is so pretty this is so pretty. You, you guys know I, I love a good jewel. I do love a good jewel. Normally we see these on like the fantasy lands and things like that. It's so funny because it was one point where every damn land was it was fantasy. I wasn't mad at it, but I was like, okay, and another one. So we really got a chance to see how so many different people interpret fantasy lands. They all had a different feel, all had a different vibe to them. And I really did um, like that. But just seeing those crystals really puts me back in that space. I'm like, you know what? It's been, a, it's been a little minute since we came across a fantasy land. 
and that's okay i wonder if they'll have like any kind of fantasy lands kind of like incorporated with uh the halloween theme i don't know i don't know that that will be something to think about oh i love these these are like little dry flowers very nice very very nice so this is like a little witch's brew room how they're trying to make it seem this is nice i like how it looks bigger um on the inside if it, it feels bigger on the inside than it does when you just look it from the outside so we're running long i'll see y'all tomorrow